Hello ladies and gentlemen, Jim here. Twitter, Facebook, and Google had a hard time providing evidence of Russian meddling on social media transcripts from the U.S. Senate show. However, they did shockingly reveal that RT America had purchased ads aimed at Americans. Now, on Friday, the U.S. Senate Intelligence Committee released answers provided by Twitter, Facebook, and Google in response to questions concerning Russia's alleged meddlesome use of social media in the devious pursuit of uprooting American democracy. The Senate's questions included breathless demands from the tech giants uh, to explain why Edward Snowden and Julian Assange are allowed to use their services, as well as more mundane requests such as asking Google if it can confirm crackpot rumors spread by Ukrainian President uh, Petro Poroshenko. However, it turns out the questions were considerably more sensational and accusatory than the tech giant's responses, which in some cases even raised doubts about the narratives being promoted by the U.S. government and media outlets. Now, uh, some of the information revealed was that RT America bought ads that were focused on Americans. Uh, Facebook can't trace uh, a Russian disinformation campaign. And Google questions whether or not there was uh, this Ukrainian artillery hack and that Russia is not targeting individual Facebook accounts. Uh, you know, Ladies and gentlemen, how long is this going to drag on for? Uh, obviously, there's a segment of America that, that is just uh, sweating uh, profusely over the, over the wonderful possibilities of this uh, bringing down the current administration, uh, this, uh, the fact that uh, Russia has meddled in the previous election. Maybe it did. You know, it maybe it meddled in the one before that, and maybe we, uh, the U.S. has meddled in some of theirs. And you know, it, we don't know. Somehow, though, it just appears that the, that, as this article says, uh, these things that politicians are hoping to find as true may not be true after all, and maybe they'll have to move on. But you have to think too, folks probably sooner rather than later, there's going to be an event or series of events that are going to take this out of the reportage. I mean, the mainstream media will continue to push this thing for as long as they can, but uh, there's going to be events. There, there's, going to be, uh, there's going to be news stories. There's going to be occurrences that will, that will uh, probably push this thing so far away as to be forgotten. But anyway, we don't know. I'll leave you a link to this. I'd ask you please to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so already, please give this video a thumbs up. Please share it if you feel so led to. Uh, there's a few links below I'd ask you to check out. If you would, one is to a link to my most recent fiction book, Fortress, a Wayfarer story, available in Kindle and paperback. There's a link to a free read of chapter one from that book, which is called Fake News. You would enjoy this book, folks, if you enjoy these videos on YouTube. Uh, there's also a link to some music of mine, and, and additionally, if you want to buy me a cup of coffee or something, that's up to you. I mean, if you feel so led, there's a PayPal link down there as well. But most importantly of all, folks, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you.